Here we have a 2019 Lamborghini Urus. This one is black on black. Comes with a four liter twin turbocharged V8 engine. Made it with an eight speed automatic transmission. And that gives us 641 horsepower, 626 pound feet of torque. And this one is just gonna be for me guys. I've been wanting to drive one of these forever. So I'm excited I finally get to do so. Front end here we have our LED daytime running lights along with LED headlamps. Love the black and I love how they just tinted the entire vehicle. I don't think it's legal, but it looks fantastic. And that probably won't be an issue for you anyway if you're driving one of these. But 22 inch wheels here look great. Love the red brake calipers. We get passive keyless entry on all four doors. Power door lock controls are here. We get one touch automatic up and down windows on all four doors. And then we can set one side or the other to turn on the child locks, which I love. And then power mirror controls are here. We can adjust that and then we can heat them as well as power fold them. And then we do get blind spot monitors in the mirrors. Then we also have a power lift gate there, bottle holder here, memory seat, hit set, and then hold the one you want to set. We get a banging Austin sound system. And then we have our power driver seat. It's a crazy looking seat there. Headlamp controls are here. We can turn on the all weather lights, rear fog lights. We do get a power tilt and telescope steering wheel. And then we'll get into the rest of that stuff here in a moment. But I have that seat up front adjust for someone of my size being six foot three with longer legs. So let's go ahead and check out the rear seat room. So pretty nice back here. It's extremely dark, but I love that we have a power seat that we can adjust seat back and the seat bottom. That's pretty impressive. And then these have the rear entertainment systems here. And then here we have the rear AC vents. And then we also have three stage heated seats for the outboard seats. And then we can adjust temperature for either side as well as fan speed and then even direction. So I love having this quad zone system. And I mean, for this price point, just one more thing I'm pleased about, I would hope. Storage in here. Just love these. Everything is so premium. You can take this out and then you can run stuff through the back if you want to. It's hard to do with one hand, sorry. It is kind of a hassle, but it's all right. But it is, like I said, extremely dark in here due to the tent. But we can hang a shirt there if we want to. Probably shouldn't. But I mean, pretty usable rear seat, honestly. And with the power lift gate, tons of storage there. And then we can lower and raise the suspension from back here if we need to, to put grocery bags in or whatever. This one still even has a car cover in there. And then tire inflator kit, other stuff down in there. But just a beautiful vehicle and actually very feature driven it seems. And a huge shout out to Auto Collection of Murfreesboro for allowing me to review this bad boy today. If you wanna buy it, I'll leave a link in the description below. I think they have this one at only 213,000 and I'm gonna find out if it's worth every penny, which I'm sure it is. There's a gas cap there. But a closer look at the seats here, pretty adjustable. We even have power lumbar support for the back seats. That's just crazy to me. And then we do have the seat back pockets on both sides. Looks like we have rear airbags as well on the side, which is nice. And then over here, we have the power adjustability for the back or for the front passenger seat. And then I believe that is massage function there as I see it moving. Lockable glove compartment here, owner's manual is actually a pretty good size and it looks like we have a CD player in here. Then run through storage there, 12 volt. Gosh, I wish I could afford one of these. This thing is beautiful. 
and I got on it just a tad earlier. We'll see how fast it really is though. But now we're gonna go ahead and pop the hood. And under all that, we have a four liter twin turbocharged V8 engine. I mean, 641 horsepower is insane. But let's go ahead and hop in the driver's seat. So we do have a leather wrap steering wheel here, flat bottom feel. Looks great, feels great. I'm sure it's gonna drive great as well. And then over to the radio here, we do get FM as well as, let me turn the volume down here, as well as XM radio. And we also have AM. And then we get Bluetooth audio. And we also have, that's a DVD drive there. And I believe we get Apple CarPlay Android Auto compatibility. So definitely Apple CarPlay. And all of your settings are here. So if you wanna go through your sound settings, I'm sure you can get really in depth with because you have this Bang & Olufsen system, which is incredible. You can adjust your surround level, the 3D effect, subwoofer, and then we can adjust the brightness for the gauges and all that. And then if you wanna change your temperature or your measurements, I love how everything's in here, miles per hour, miles, and then Fahrenheit, you can change all those if you wanna to go to the metric system. So pretty neat there. And then to connect the device, pretty easy to just click that and then it walks you right through it. So it'll search for your phone, so on and so forth. Navigation system here, find a destination, hit search, and then you can use voice recognition to go through it, or you can go ahead and use a keyboard down here. So if I wanna find the nearest Walmart, type that in there, and then it'll pull up close destinations. So I like that you can, these screens are just super, super intuitive and you wouldn't expect that on a Lamborghini, but here we are. And I mean, these, there's so much you can do with this car, it's ridiculous. You can set your driver assist at the maximum, individual, basic. I like everything on personally, but I think this was actually in pretty good shape as it was. And then here you can adjust your suspension, all that, air conditioning, lights, and then all of your settings for the vehicle in here, including the tire pressure monitor and all that. Backup camera's there, guidelines follow you as you turn the steering wheel. And then we do have a front camera, same deal there. Hazards are right here. We do have quick shortcuts for the defrost as well as a traction control. And then down here is where your AC controls are. I love how they did this. I can choose where the airflow is coming from. And not only can I do it for the front, if I sink or unsink, whatever, I can have it just blowing at the face on the right side and then pretty much same thing for the back, just super, super configurable. And then the garage door transmitter is there. Can turn the screen off I want to, hill descent. Three stage heated cool seats for the front. Just, there's so much going on here. And I love that we have a volume knob here. I could turn that up and then click it to mute and unmute there and then actually scroll through the radio stations with the knob there. That knob is super smart. If that breaks, I'd be kind of mad, but you can still use the screen too, but I love, love this. Now for the shifter, with it being a Lamborghini, you do have to, to put it in drive, hit that paddle shifter there, and then press P for park, and for your manual mode there, once you're in drive, and then you can just pull down here for reverse. Push button starts underneath there. And then you have several drive modes. So these are all of the ones that are pre-configured for you. So Strata, Sport, Corsa, and then you have your Ego mode. And that's one you can actually set up using these buttons here. And it'll take you into that Ego mode whenever you hit one of those. So adjust your suspension, adjust your steering, and then also adjust your throttle output there. Then here you can just toggle the camera, touch the button there, 
electronic parking brake pull up to engage to the brake press down to disengage automatic brake hold here and then you can pull up the driver assistance system there and then here we have a wireless charging pad while wow, that's on there and then we have the roof here so a power sunshade and then a separate button for the power roof so love that 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 goes all the way back then you can one touch close it as well there's a view of the back now back to the steering wheel blinkers are here and then auto lights are there and then paddle shifters behind the steering wheel we can use this scroll bar here to go through the gauge cluster when we're in the right menu there and then we can use this to go through the left side of the gauge cluster there cruise controls down here on and off you can toggle the distance for the adaptive cruise there and then you can set all that and then you can toggle the map colors here it's just half the stuff i don't even know if this is right but voice recognition bluetooth control volume trackless radio station presets then your windshield wipers one time auto low high and you can adjust how sensitive your auto wipers are here and then front wiper fluid there again the push button starts there here's the key fob I'm just like a kid in a candy store i'm so frantic next we're gonna go ahead and take this lamborghini years out of the road for a quick test drive oh god dog so starting the test drive in this Urus, I mean, this thing is so powerful, but I forgot to mention heated steering wheel function. That's what this, these three dots down here for, that's what they're for on the, the AC screen. And then you can pull up that heated steering wheel and toggle that there, as well as go to your rear AC and basically make the screen bigger for the other AC functions that aren't down here. But my goodness, this thing is extremely powerful. And like I said, I just have it in sport mode. I'm glad that it has some miles on it so I can really put my foot into it. But just an incredible machine. And I knew that going into it, but actually being behind the wheel here, what makes these so awesome and I think why they sell so well is because you get the, I guess the speed, the performance, the acceleration of a Lamborghini, but it's also riding on a similar platform as the Audi Q8, so it's also meant to be comfortable as well. And you're getting the best of both worlds there. Now I've been behind the wheel of a couple, I guess you could say supercars, a few Ferraris, a few high-end Porsches, a few McLarens. And what this has that's different is, it's, it's extremely comfortable. And it's great to still have the performance aspect while still having the comfort aspect in a Lamborghini because you would expect this thing to shift extremely harshly, not be easy to drive or comfortable to drive in the city. But this is something that you could drive every day or if you want to use it for the weekends and just thrash it around a track or whatever, you can do that as well. Now with this being a Lamborghini as well, I still have not figured out and I should know this because I've reviewed a Huracan recently, but I cannot remember for the life of me how to get this thing in neutral because the shifter is just so strange. <laughs> but other than that, it's pretty, once you get in the vehicle, it's pretty easy to get a hold of what's going on here. But again, what makes this such a fantastic vehicle, in my opinion, is obviously the looks, the interior, but just how smooth this thing drives. Even with it being a Lamborghini SUV, it still drives smooth in sport mode. Now you put it in a Neve, you put it in a Strata, but I really don't even care about that. I'm just excited to put it in a Corsa and then put my foot into it. And probably everyday driving for me, that's what I would do anyway. Except maybe if I have to go on a long journey or something, I'm just cruising, adaptive cruises on, so on and so forth. But with this much power at my fingertips, all I wanna do is just put my foot into it, you know? And that's exactly what I'm gonna do here. I 
mean, this thing is a monster. Gosh. And it, again, it's just so clean with the power. Even in the Corsa mode and those turbos and they kick in, my gosh. Just an incredible driving car. Oh man, that's nice. I'm gonna put it into the adaptive cruise mode now by putting it into a different drive mode. So we can set that there and then adjust the gap distance. So again, so great to have on a vehicle like this, that adaptive cruise, and then just listen to how quiet it is now. Can't hear the engine really. Got a little bit of road noise, but other than that, I mean, just a fantastic riding vehicle. Very impressed. But all in all, I mean, for the money, with this one being at 213 in auto collection, it has a little under 19,000 miles. And in my opinion, worth every penny. I mean, this is still a Lamborghini. It drives like a Lamborghini. The controls are like a Lamborghini. It feels like a Lamborghini. You just don't have a naturally aspirated engine. You have that twin turbo V8, which has kind of made its own name for itself in being a Lamborghini. Now, in terms of competition, you could save half your money and get the the audi variant i think it's the rsq8 but i mean i wouldn't do it and then of course you have the pure Sangue that just came out from ferrari porsche has the the new cayenne turbo or is it the gt turbo they have so many variants i get lost with porsches nowadays because half the turbos don't even have turbos but anyways to me this is still i think the best option just in terms of performance but also with this one being out a few years longer you can get one of these for around 215 as opposed to a new pure sangue is probably 500 600 grand if you can get one now i will say with this being what it is even driving around here in murphy's bro it's a pretty upper like middle class town i'd say but I still don't even feel safe driving around here because it's crazy how many people who have come up like as I'm driving or as I was reviewing the car asking me questions and such. So just crazy that a vehicle like this, even though it's four years old, still brings as much attention as this one does. And even when I drove past, there was a police car sitting on the curb or on the side of the road and I even rolled the windows down because I did not want those problems. Whereas whoever had this vehicle before had these just dark as they could get them in terms of the window tint, which makes it look that much better. Not that it needed it to look good, but this is just, it's been such a treat driving this first of all, but it's just such an exquisite vehicle that even today, I think this might be the second one I've seen in person, if that. So just a super, super rare vehicle extremely sought after if you have the money for it but i mean beautiful fast just it's a lamborghini and every time i get behind the wheel of one i'm left in the same awe but again huge shout out to auto collection of murphy's bro for allowing me to drive this vehicle today review it hopefully you all got a lot of information out of it if you're interested in one or if you just think this is cool i hope you got as much as you could out of the test drive, well, as much as I could give you, I guess, with this traffic. But this has been a treat, and this will bring me to the end of my review of this 2019 Lamborghini Urus.